On behalf of CJA and Rural Youth Europe, we have been asking young people to speak up and share their dreams for the future of Europe. Here is what they've got to say. My name is Peter, 21 years old, and I'm an arable farmer in the north of the Netherlands, near the German border. On our farm, we already do a lot of greening, supported by the Common Agricultural Policy. We're sowing and catch crops and work towards a system of electric watering to make the farm more resilient to weather and climate influences. In addition, our tractors are steadily but surely being expanded in the field of precision farming. As a young farmer, I expect the EU to continue to support European young farmers in making the costly transition to a sustainable farming system. The EU should focus on the successors to the farm, not on the farms that are closing down. On an international level, I expect the EU to use its normative power to make the European standards the international norm. Our products meet the highest requirements in the world. I would like to see this extra price also paid on the world market. The EU should cer certainly focus on this when concluding international trade agreements. More close to home, when I'm talking to Dutch farmers in my Young Farmers Organization about the European Union, their perception of the EU differs. But they often have in common that their knowledge of what is happening in Europe on a daily basis is minimal. There is a lack of understanding of European legislative procedures and knowledge about what is happening in Brussels. This is also the re responsibility of the European institutions. After all, unknown makes unloved. Even though this can be prevented, Europe should invest more in European media and television. Why isn't there, for example, a European equivalent of the television shows like The Daily Show or The Last Week Tonight, where European commissioners and MEPs can explain their policies and views of Europe? A humoristic show on serious topic to get the people of Europe more familiar with their institutions and, maybe more important, with each other. 